What's up guys, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you a 100% full game achievement walkthrough for Scorn. This game is available on Xbox Game Pass, or you can purchase it for a price of $39.99. I'm going to run you through the game and show you how to get every achievement in around 2 hours. Without a guide, the game will probably take you around 5-6 to six hours. I personally really enjoyed the game, however, it was pretty difficult figuring out where to go and how to solve the puzzles during my first playthrough, but don't worry, following along with this video here, you shouldn't have any issues, as I'll be showing you exactly what you need to do. So this is an atmospheric first person horror adventure game, and if you're a chicken, don't worry, the game isn't really that scary. The first 40 minutes of gameplay is basically just like a walking simulator with puzzles, and then eventually they introduce enemies later on. And there's also an achievement that requires a second playthrough, however there is an easy method where we just reload our save and we can get it in one playthrough instead of two. I'm also going to have timestamps to each of the different chapters if you're just looking for a specific one. And I'm going to let this cutscene play out here and then I'll pick the commentary back up once we gain control of our character. Alright, once we gain control of our character here, we can sprint using the left bumper. We're going to turn to the left and we're going to sprint down this hallway here and follow the path for a bit. Turn to the right and continue following the path. Head through the door on the left side. Turn to the right and over here we can interact with this machine and we can get our key hand. This is going to come in handy throughout the game. And next up we can turn to the right side and we can interact with the console over here and we can use this to open up the door in front of us. So what we need to do here is switch over to the left side and then press A to unlock this side of the door and then switch back over to the right side of the door. Press A again and that will open up the door. And now what we need to do is we need to be pretty quick here. You want to back out from the console and quickly sprint through the doorway before it closes. Alright, so this is like the main hub area. We will have to replay this section of the game twice to get the missable achievement. So what you want to do is turn to the right side here follow this pathway and inside here we can turn to the left and we're going to head up the elevator. Follow the path in front of us here. Alright, so down here we can interact with the console on the right side. This is the first puzzle of the game. You can move the claw around with the left stick and you can grab using the A button. Our objective is to get the two glowing eggs over to the light on the left side, so copy exactly what I do here.
Once you have the first egg in place here, exit the machine and interact with the console on the left side here, and that'll pick up the egg. Alright, so now we can back out and again interact with the console on the right side, and this time we're going to get the second egg. So again, copy exactly what I do on screen here. Once you get the second egg in place, back out of the machine, and again interact with the console in the middle here. Turn around and head back to the elevator. Once you get to the bottom, turn to the right and follow this rail on the ground here for a bit. Turn to the right and head up this little hill here and interact with the machine. And we can raise it up and grab the egg above. Lower it and place it in the chair. Alright, so turn around and make your way to the top of the hill behind us here. And once you get to the top, we can interact with the machine. So in this section here, we will have to replay it since there's two different routes that we can take and they both give you an achievement. We're going to start off with the 001 extraction route. So what we need to do here is we need to interact with the rail on the bottom left side of the screen. Press A to switch it and then switch the rail on the bottom right side of the screen as well. And once you have that set, you can back out of the machine and make your way back down to the bottom of the hill. Down here you can interact with the cart with the egg person and we can go ahead and push this and follow the path for a bit.
Once you get to this section here, turn to the left and interact with the console. Now you can continue pushing the cart. Alright, and once we get to the end here, you can turn to the right side and interact with the machine. And we're going to grab the egg and move that over to the right side. And now you can place it into the chair. Now we can interact with the console on the right side. Alright, so now you can go ahead and interact with the person here, and that's going to unlock the 001 Extraction Route Achievement. And now, instead of replaying the entire game, what we're going to do is we're going to pause our game, and we're going to reload our save, and this time we're going to focus on getting the 002 Hand in Hand Achievement slash Route. Alright, so now we're back in the hub area here, and we're basically going to do the exact same thing that we just did. So turn to the right here, follow the path, and then ride the elevator up. And this time we're going to get the hand-in-hand -hand achievement. Once you get to the top here, head straight, and we're going to do the claw puzzle again.
head back to the elevator. Again, head to the right and follow the rail. Turn to the right and interact with the machine here. Again, raise that up to get the egg and then lower it and place it into the chair. Head up the hill behind us, and again, we're going to interact with the machine up here. And this time, we're only going to switch the rail on the bottom left side. So switch the rail on the bottom left side, and then you can exit the machine, and you can head back down the hill, and we can push our friend and follow the path for a bit. Interact with the machine on the left side, and then continue pushing. Inside here we can interact with the console on the right side and we can place the egg into the chair on the right. Now we can interact with the console directly in front of us. Alright, and now we can pick up our friend's hand here, and that's going to unlock the 002 hand-in-hand -hand achievement. And once we have that, we can turn to the left over here and follow this path for a bit. Head down the stairs here, turn to the left, and over here we can place the hand into the machine here and we can get another key hand. And once we have that, we can turn around and head back up the stairs where we came from. Up here, we need to place the hand into this first machine here. And that's going to open up the door halfway. And then we can interact with the machine over on the right side and we can fully open up the door.
Now we can head through and ride the elevator up. Once you get to the top here, we can head straight and follow the path that I do. Over here, we can step on the pressure plate and that'll raise up this machine here. And we can pick up our first weapon slash tool that we can open up doors with. All right, now we can turn around and head back the way we came, and we're gonna take a right into this first room here. Inside here, we can interact with this machine and open it up using our new weapon. Alright, so now we can head straight and follow the path in front of us here. You want to be careful. We're going to have to kill these enemies here. So you can aim down your sights using the left trigger and you can shoot using the right trigger. So make your way through here and carefully take out these enemies here. And over here we can interact with the machine in the middle. And we can move this pod all the way over to the left side. And we're going to use this to pick up the pod here. Press the A button when close to it, when it's highlighted. And you can pick that up. And now we can move that into the newly opened hole over on the right side. And place that there. Now we can turn to the right and follow this path over here to the next machine. Interact with the machine to get the next pod. Head back to the machine that we were previously at, and be careful along the way, you need to take out the enemies. Once you make your way back to the machine here, before we can interact with it, we actually have to interact with the machine in front of us off to the right side, so go ahead and do that first.
Now we can head back to the machine here in the middle. And we can pick up the pod over on the right side. And once you have this pod here, go ahead and place it in the hole that appears up top. Now we can interact with the console that just appeared in front of us here. Now we can head back to the console machine behind us, and this time we can pick up the final pod, which is going to be directly in the middle on the ground in front of us. So go ahead and move the machine down here, and then you can pick up the pod and place that in the hole that appears over on the left side. And now we can go interact with the new console here, and that's going to be the end of this chapter. Alright, so once we gain control of our character here, we're going to have to walk for a bit, so just follow the path that I do.
Over here, we can interact with the dead body and pick up the key. Once you have that, you can place that into the machine on the right side here. All right, so we can rotate the nail down to the bottom left side, down here, and once you have it there, press A to nail it and connect that piece, and then move it down to the bottom right side and connect it with this piece here, and then move it to the top right piece, connect it there, and then lastly, move it to the top middle, and you can connect it, and that'll finish the puzzle. Now we can turn to the left and head back the way we came. And over here, we're going to take a right turn into the first room. Place the key into the machine on the right side to open up the doorways. And then we can head to the left and ride the elevator up. Once you get to the top here, we can take two right turns and follow the path for a bit. Interact with the controls here, scroll over once to the right, and we can interact with this doorway here and connect it to make a bridge, and then follow the path. Turn to the right side and follow this path over here. Turn to the left, head into this room here, and we can interact with this machine to turn off the fan. Now we can turn around and head back the way we came. There may or may not be a jump scare. Now we can head through the fan here and follow the path. Head up the ramp and interact with the puzzle here. Alright, so this time the puzzle is going to be rotating and the pieces will only stop for a few seconds. So the first piece is going to stop down on the bottom left side. Go ahead and nail that one. And then for the second piece, that one should stop up at the top middle. Go ahead and nail that one. And then for the third and final piece, that one should stop down on the bottom right side. And once you've nailed all three pieces, you can go ahead and finish it up at the top middle. Now we can turn to the right and ride the elevator up.
Down here, we can turn to the right and interact with the machine to get another key hand. Now we can open up the door over here. Head straight and then make a left. And then we can make a right into the room that we were in previously. Again, ride the elevator up and follow the path. Interact with the controls, and this time we're going to select the door on the left side and follow the path. Turn to the right, and over here you can interact with the machine. And we're going to solve another puzzle. The first piece will stop on the bottom left side. The second piece will stop on the top right side. And then the third piece will stop up on the top left side. Once you finish the puzzle, turn around, head straight down here, and interact with the machine in front of us here, and we can use this to clear the path over on the right side. So interact with the machine, and we can rotate that twice. And then we can clear this pathway here. Now we can head back the way we came. Interact with the controls here, and we can connect it with this door here, and follow the path. Apologies, you're going to see me get confused here for some reason. I didn't see the puzzle at first. It's over on the left side. We need to interact with it and get the final piece. Alright, so the first piece is going to stop up at the top right corner. And then the second piece is going to stop on the bottom right corner. And then the third piece will stop on the bottom left corner, but there's a little panel blocking it so you can't see when it stops. However, there is a sound cue. You'll hear a little click when it stops, and that's how you'll know when to nail it. And then from there, you can just finish the puzzle, and now we can head back the way we came. Interact with the controls, and we can connect with the door on the far left side over here. And then we can follow the path.
turn to the left and ride the elevator down. Down here we can interact with the machine over on the right side and then we can solve the next puzzle. Alright, so now we can interact with the machine here and solve the puzzle. So for the first piece, that's going to go in the bottom row. And then the second piece is going to go in the top row. The third piece is going to go in the bottom row. And the last and final piece is going to go in the middle row. And then from there, just raise it up and that will finish the puzzle. Now we can interact with the console in front of us to get a new key. All right, now we can head through the doorway behind us, turn to the left and follow this path here. And then we can go over towards where the dead guy was. And now we can open up the door over here with the new key. Head inside here and follow the path. Open up the door and then ride the elevator up. Head straight and turn to the left. Interact with the health machine over here, and that should give us a couple of heals. And now, if we ever need to, we can heal ourselves with the right bumper, but we only have so many, so use them sparingly. Turn to the left and follow the path here. Open up the door. Enter the room on the right side and follow the path. Turn to the left, open up the door, and then ride the elevator. Head straight and follow the path.
interact with the machine here to get a key upgrade. And once we have that, we can head back the way we came. Turn to the right and open up the door over here. Head down the ramp here, be careful, don't go too far forward as there's an enemy down here and we can safely ignore it if we just stay back here, it'll leave the area. However, if for any reason you do need to attack, you can aim down sights using the left trigger and you can shoot using the right trigger. And this gun sucks, you can only shoot it twice and then it has a cooldown. So once the enemy's gone, go ahead and head forward, turn to the right here and open up the door using this machine here. Head into the room in front of us here and then turn to the left and interact with the machine here to open up the door. And you want to be careful, as soon as we do this an enemy is going to spawn in front of us and I highly recommend just ignoring the enemy here as they take around 4-5 to five hits to die. So what we can do is as soon as we're done opening up the door, just ignore the enemy and run back into the room on the right side that we just came from. And then once we're in the next room we can quickly just close the door behind us and we can completely avoid this enemy and save our health for later. So again, head in here and then close the door behind us. Now we can turn to the right side and head back the way we came. Be careful though as there's going to be an enemy waiting for us and again you kind of need to rush it and get close in order for the weapon to be effective. So these little guys here they only take two hits so just get close and use two attacks on him and he should die no problem. But as you can see here for me I accidentally missed my first attack and I had to run away and wait for the gun to recharge. This gun is terrible and it takes a few seconds for the gun to recharge in between attacks. But once you take care of him, if you took any damage, you can heal using the right bumper, and we can make our way back up the hill here. Turn to the left and follow the path here. Interact with the machine here. Now we can head to the left and board the lift. Exit the lift and interact with the console over on the right side. Turn to the left and follow the path here. There will be an enemy down here on the left side and these bigger ones take around 4-5 to five hits to die. Again after you do two attacks I recommend running away and waiting for the gun to recharge and then you can come back in for more attacks and keep repeating that same strategy until you kill the enemy. After you kill the enemy, continue following the path and feel free to heal if you need to.
Ignore the enemies here and continue following the path. Turn to the left and continue following the path. Interact with the machine here. After this, we can head over to the right side. However, you need to be careful as there is an enemy over here. Go ahead and take it out, or if you want to, you can try to run past it. Up here, we can interact with the machine to get some more health. Turn to the left and continue following the path here. In this next section here, we're going to avoid two enemies. You want to quickly sprint down to the end. And we're going to take a right into this hallway here, and if you're quick enough, you can avoid the two enemies. There will be an enemy down in this hallway, though, that we need to kill right around this corner. So go ahead and kill that one here. After you take the enemy out, continue heading down the hallway. We can avoid this next enemy here by turning to the right and heading up the ramp. There will be an enemy up here around the corner that we have to kill, so be careful. After you take the enemy out, continue following the path. Interact with the machine here. This is going to spawn two enemies. One will spawn on the left side and the other on the right side. Feel free to kill them or run past them if you want to. Personally for me, I'm going to focus on the enemy that spawns on the left side first. And I'm going to wait till the enemy on the right side moves out of the way, and then I'm going to run past it. So what I like to do here is head back into this room, kind of bait them closer to me, and then once they're out of the way, I'm going to run past them. And follow the path here. Interact with the machine back here. And that'll lower a lift for us to use. Now we can head to the lift and use that to make our way across. Enter the room on the left side here, and back inside here we can interact with the machine, and we can get our first gun.
turn around and interact with the machine behind us to get some ammo, and then go ahead and reload your gun. Alright, so after you reload, you want to be careful as there's going to be three enemies that spawn in the next room over here on the left side. So go ahead and shoot them and take care of them. After you take all of the enemies out and you're safe, we can head into the room here and interact with this console. So this is the next puzzle. I'm going to tell you exactly what we need to do here. So using the A button, you can rotate the puzzle and we need to rotate the left side a total of three times. And then from there, we need to rotate the middle piece a total of five times. And then we can rotate the right side four times. And then we can rotate the middle four times. And then again, we can rotate the right side three times. And lastly, we can rotate the middle four times. And that should solve the puzzle. If for whatever reason you messed up your puzzle and you can't solve it, you can always quit out to the main menu and then continue the game and the puzzle should restart and you can use the guide. Alright, now we can head back to the lift. Head through the lift here, make your way across to the left side, and place the puzzle piece in the console over here. Now we can ride the lift down to the second floor. Alright, so in this section here, there's going to be three enemies that we need to take care of. You want to be careful here since you will probably run out of ammo and you'll have to use the D-pad to switch back to the other weapon and finish off the third enemy using the original weapon. After you take care of the three enemies here, follow the path to the next puzzle. Over on the left side, you can interact with the machine to get some more health. And then interact with the other machine and we can solve the next puzzle. Alright, so we can rotate the top middle piece a total of five times until it glows yellow. 
And then we can rotate the bottom middle piece three times. And then we can rotate the left side a total of four times. And then we can rotate the bottom middle piece a total of four times. And that'll solve the puzzle. Grab the puzzle piece here, and now we can head back to the lift. You want to be careful, on your way back there's going to be one more enemy. I suggest running past it, so what you can do here is hide behind the pillar and bait it towards you, and once it's close enough and out of the way, you can quickly run around behind it and board the lift and ignore the enemy. Head back to the machine and place the puzzle piece. Now we can ride the lift down to the bottom floor. Exit the lift and interact with the machine over here. Now we can turn to the right and follow the lift. Head over here and interact with the controls on the right side. And we can control this arm here and we can move it over to the left. And we can use that to pick up the lift. And once you have the lift, move that over to the right side. And then you can exit the machine and interact with the controls in front of us here. And that will raise the elevator. Now we can head back to the controls behind us. And all you need to do is press the A button and transfer the lift over to the hook. And then we can head over to the right side. Interact with the controls here and that'll move the lift over to the right side. And then we can board it and ride it around. Exit the lift here and follow the path. Ah! 
head into the room on the right side here, and we can get some more ammo. Make sure you switch weapons and reload, turn around and head straight and then we're going to take a right turn and follow the path over here. You want to be careful as there will be a little enemy down here on the left side. Go ahead and take care of it. And then you can continue heading straight and eventually we're going to take a left turn into another hallway. Switch weapons and interact with the machine and then follow the path. Make sure you switch back to your pistol and you want to be careful in the next section over here on the left side there's going to be a tank like enemy and these guys are a pain it's going to take about five to six shots to kill it so just be careful once you take care of it you can continue following the path Switch weapons and interact with the machine here. Continue following the path. Head up the elevator and interact with the machine up here to open up the doorway. Now we can make our way back down the elevator. You want to be careful since there's going to be an enemy down here waiting for us. So go ahead and kill it. Continue following the path here. Over on the left side, there's going to be a tank locked behind the gate here. You want to switch back to the original weapon and you want to kill it through the gate. Don't worry, it shouldn't be able to hit you or anything. All right, once you kill the tank, we can turn around and head to the other side of the room here and open up the gate.
Inside here, we can interact with the machine, and that'll upgrade our key. You can also get some more ammo from the machine here on the left side. All right, now we can head back the way we came. Ride the elevator up and then head through the doorway on the left side. Inside here we can get some more health on the left side. Turn around and follow the path behind us. Head straight and kill the tentacle monster in front of us here. And after you take this out, you want to back up a little bit as we can avoid a enemy in the room in front of us by doing so. Once the enemy is gone, you can head straight and follow the path here. In this next section here, you want to be careful as there's going to be another tank, so just be careful. After you take it out, continue following the path until you get to the elevator and ride it up. Follow the path here. Alright, so in this next section here, there's going to be a tentacle. You can just ignore it and run past it to save your ammo. Head up here and interact with the machine and then press the A button.
head back down the ramp and there's going to be a little enemy down here waiting for us. Go ahead and kill it and then head through the hallway where it came from. Interact with the machine here and then we can turn around and head through the doorway behind us over on the left side and follow this path for a bit. There's going to be a bunch of enemies in this section and it's honestly better to just run past them and completely ignore them so I recommend doing that. Once you get to this section here, just head straight and continue following the path. Inside here, we can interact with the machine and we can get a new weapon. And this one's very powerful, and it takes down the big guys in two to three shots. So you can find the ammo for it over on the left side right here, and go ahead and reload it. Once you have everything reloaded, I recommend equipping the new gun, and you can head down the hallway here on the left side, and there's going to be a tank, and you want to go ahead and take it out. Ride the elevator up. You want to turn around and up here there's going to be two of the little enemies. Honestly, I would recommend just ignoring them and running past them as we're going to need the ammo for the next section. So run straight to the right and follow this path here. In the next area here, there's going to be a few enemies, so be ready for those. After you take out all of the enemies, we can head up the staircase on the right side here, and up here we can get a key upgrade. And once you have that, you can head back downstairs, and you can use the new key upgrade to open up the door. Follow the path here. Interact with the machine over here and press the A button. And once we do that, that's going to spawn some enemies in. So be careful and be ready for that.
After you take out the two enemies, we can get some more health from this machine over here. Turn to the left and follow the path here. Turn to the left and open up the door back here. Back here we can turn to the right and head down this hallway here. And we can interact with the machine. Now we can head back the way we came. Turn to the left and follow the path back here like we did before. Down here we can turn to the left and open up the door. Follow the path here and ride the elevator up. There's going to be an enemy up here, go ahead and take it out. Switch weapons and open up the doorway here. You want to be careful as there's a tank in the next room and we're going to run past it in just a second here. You can ignore this doorway for now. We need to turn around and there's going to be a tank back here. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly run past it. So you want to run as fast as you can. It's going to be on the right side here just around the corner. We're going to head straight. And we're going to run up the elevator before it can get us. So run past it, interact with the elevator up here, and ride it up. Up here you can follow the path. You want to be careful as there is one enemy up here, but if you ignore it, it should run away. So take your time, wait a few seconds for the enemy to disappear. And then you can interact with this console here and press the A button. Now we can turn to the left and follow the path back here and eventually we'll get some more ammo. Go ahead and reload your weapons here before you continue, since a tank is going to spawn on the way back. Once you're fully reloaded and you have the new gun equipped, make your way back here and you can take out this tank here. You want to be very quick since a second tank is actually going to spawn behind us. So after you kill the first tank, quickly run forward and you can ignore the second tank behind us and just head back to the elevator and take it down. <laughs> All 
All right, so in this next section down here, there's going to be a tank and three or four other enemies. So go ahead and take care of those and take your time here. After you take care of all of the enemies, you can go ahead and get some more health here. And then we can head through the doorway on the right side. And we can head down here and interact with the machine. Alright, and now we can turn around and we can head up here and make a right and then follow the path. Make another right and follow the path like we did before. interact with the machine here and we can solve the next puzzle thankfully this one's a lot easier than the other ones so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the circle to the bottom right corner right here and then once you have that press the a button to rotate the machine and again move the circle to the bottom right corner rotate the machine and this time we're gonna go to the right and up into this corner here and then rotate the machine and we can move it over to the right twice and then rotate the machine And then rotate the machine again. And this time we're going to move it up and into this corner here. And then rotate the machine again. And then rotate it one more time. And then from there you can move the circle into the other circle. And that will solve the puzzle. Turn to the left and make your way up the staircase here and follow the path for a bit. Interact with the controls here to activate the lift.
exit the lift and follow the path for a bit. Once we get down here, we need to turn to the right and pick up the Vial of Blood over here. Once you have that, we can follow the hallway here in front of us. Place the Vial into this machine here and then head through the doorway. Turn to the right and back here you can get some ammo and some health. Alright, and next up we can go ahead and pick up one of these heads, and we can take that over to this machine and place it. Alright, you want to switch back to the very first weapon that we picked up, and we're going to use that to kill this creature here. And then we can pick up its body. And we're going to take that back to where we placed the vial of blood. Place the creature into the machine here to fill up the vial of blood. Now we can turn around and head back into the hallway here and we can place the vial of blood where we originally picked it up. Now we can head back into the hallway and place the vial back into the machine. Make sure you equip your big gun and then turn to the right and we're going to pick up another head here. And we're going to take that over to the machine and we're going to place it again like we did before. However, this time it's going to turn into a boss fight and we're going to have to fight this giant enemy here. So honestly, it's pretty difficult. I actually died here a few times. So what we're going to need to do is we're basically going to have to shoot its legs in order to stun it. And once it gets stunned, it's going to open up a little weak spot on its legs and you need to shoot that until the weak spot is fully destroyed so once you stand up here the first thing you want to do is back up immediately as he's going to try to punch you and then from there you want to use your big gun and you want to get close and shoot his legs and two shots if landed correctly should stun him and you'll see that'll open up a little pod on the right side of him here and you need to go ahead and shoot that and then reload and we're basically going to repeat that same process over again 
So again, shoot him in the legs two more times, and that should stun him. And you can finish off that weak spot on the right side. And now we have to switch to our pistol, and we're basically going to repeat that same process, but this time we're going to be using the pistol. Again, the pistol is pretty weak, so it's going to take you quite a few shots. So what I like to do is I'd like to dodge his grenades and kind of move around the different objects in the room and use those as cover. And eventually, once you shoot him enough in the legs, that will stun him, and you can start shooting the weak spot. You can also somewhat hide back here in this corner. I like to go back here and heal, and if you absolutely need to, you can always pick up the rest of the ammo from the machine there if you had any left over. So what I like to do is I like to kind of shoulder peek him here and shoot him in the legs. Alright, so after you destroy both of the weak spots here, that's only the first cycle, and he's going to be stunned for a bit. So we can go over here, and we can safely get some ammo. Alright, so in order to finish him off, we're going to have to shoot the head in his chest whenever he opens it. So this is where it gets pretty annoying and tricky. If you interact with this, that will bring him back to life. And we can start with phase two. So again, just kind of repeat the same process of phase one. However, whenever he opens up his chest, you need to shoot the head. And eventually, once you destroy it, that will defeat the boss. Alright, so just like that, we defeated the boss, and once he's dead, go ahead and pick up the creature from the ground, as well as the gun on his hand. Take the creature back to the machine and fill up the vial. Alright, we need one more creature, so head back into the room here, and you will see a pressure plate that we can stand on. Stand on the pressure plate here, over on the right side, and that'll open up this window here, and we need to shoot one shot through, and that'll open up the door over on the left side. Before we continue here, you need to turn around and get some more ammo from the bosses back here. If for whatever reason, if you ever run out of ammo, you can always get more ammo from the bosses back here. So we are going to have to fight one more boss, but thankfully this next one is way, way, way easier than the first one. So pick up the head here and you can take that over to the machine and you can spawn in the next boss. And for this one here, all we're going to do is we're just going to dodge his shots. 
So you're going to have to dodge like nine or so of his shots. And then eventually he's going to reload and he's going to bend over and reach into his back. And all you have to do is just shoot one of these grenades into his back. And that's going to kill him as you'll see here. So this, this fight is way, way easier than the first one. So again, for now, all you want to do is just take cover and dodge his grenades until he reloads. Once he bends over and goes to reload, you need to shoot a grenade into his back, and just like that, we kill them. While we wait for the boss to die here, head over to the previous boss and go ahead and get some extra ammo, as we're going to need this for later. So once the boss is fully dead, go ahead and pick up the creature from the ground, and we can take that and use him for blood. Now we can head back the way we came. Alright, so before we place the final vial of blood, we actually have a couple of things that we need to do before we can place it. So kind of head back to the way we came, and instead of going up the stairs, we're going to go down and head back into this secret area here. And back here, there's going to be another pressure plate that we can stand on, and we can shoot another shot through the window. Alright, so now in this next section here, we can head off to the right, and in here we can get some more health on the right side. Alright, so our character has a virus, and now we can't really use our hand, so in order to open up this door here, we need to first interact with this machine on the left side here, and this is temporarily going to kind of cure the virus or the tentacles on our arm. So place your arm in here. That's going to remove the virus temporarily, and then we can turn to the right and quickly open up the door. And if you're quick enough, before the virus grows back, head in here, stand on the pressure plate, and you need to shoot a shot in between these objects here into the window in the background. However, if you miss, that's okay. The virus will grow back on your arm, and you'll have to remove it again in order to open up the gate here. If you ran out of ammo, you can get more from the machine here on the right side. The virus grew back on our arm, so we quickly have to head back into the previous room here and remove the virus one more time. And after we remove it, we can head back into the room that we were just in, and we need to upgrade our key using the machine in there. Quickly head in here and interact with the machine and upgrade your key. Now we can head back the way we came. We're going to have to open up the door over there on the right side, but before we can do that, we need to cure the virus. So head over here to the machine.
and then quickly run over to the door and open it up. Inside here, there is a machine that we need to interact with right in front of us. I'll look at it in just a second. This machine right here, we need to interact with that however we can't since the virus just regrew. So head back the way we came, interact with the machine one more time, and then quickly run back to the machine behind us and interact with it before the virus regrows. Interact with the machine. Alright, so now we're going to remove the creature that's inside of us. It's very easy. All you need to do is just scroll up to the top towards the head here just like this, and then press the A button, and that'll remove the creature. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and back out. Alright, and now we can head back and place the vial of blood, however the path has changed and now we have to take a different route in order to get there, so just follow the path that I take here. Once you get down here, we can finally place the vial of blood over on the right side.
Once you get to the top of the platform here, interact with this machine. All right, so once we gain control of our character here, we can head up the staircase here. And over on the top right side, we can get a key for our hand. Once you have the key, we can interact with the machine up here. Alright, and now we can switch characters using the X button, and once you gain control of the other character here, you want to turn to the left and interact with this machine here. Now we can turn to the right and follow the path. Stand on the pressure plate here, and that'll open up the door, and then we can head straight and follow the path.
Alright, so that's the end of the game, and the rest is just cutscenes, and eventually your final achievement should unlock once you get returned to the main menu. So that's it, thank you guys for watching, leave a like on the video if the guide was helpful, and please consider subscribing if you're new here for more guides just like this, and as always, I will see you all next time. Shout out to my Patreon supporters, Chan Span G1, Tim G84, Fazo Prime Pirate, and Stacy Mackey. Last but not least, shout out to my two legend supporters, Niku Noni Oi and Monarch Reptar. If you guys would like to support me on Patreon, you can do so at patreon.com slash cheetahsguides.